Hello gorgeous, here's how to wash your cashmere sweaters. I wear cashmere all year round because it's lightweight, breathable, so you don't start sweating 5 minutes after you put it on and it's antibacterial. This means you can hand wash it after 10 wears or after a season depending how often you use your cashmere styles. It's also common for it to pill quickly so I have this deep pilling machine that you can get linked below and it's about 10 to 11 dollars from Amazon and um, all my sweaters and supplies are also linked below. So first things first, I'm going to fill up the sink but consider the water displacement. So when I put in the sweaters, I can't have to make sure that the water is not filled up to the top so that when I put it in, yes, some of it's going to absorb, but it's also going to overfill. So I have to be careful and consider of that. And then I'm going to use this wool and cashmere shampoo from the laundress also linked below. It's in cedar and cedar is good like lavender and citrus, especially grapefruit is good for cashmere or wool because the moths won't eat the collagen from the threads and you'll get holes like some of these cashmere sweaters. I have holes and um, I'll also have a different wool detergent that also works for cashmere linked below that my husband uses. It's cheaper and I think it's from the brand Wool Light, and you can check that out. It's also from Amazon. These are all things from Amazon. So I'm gonna put one cap in because it's very concentrated, and it also you'll smell it when you um, put when you disperse it within the water evenly, as I'm doing here to create kind of like a bubble bath where it's the whole water situation will be able to um, distribute the soap and the wash within the garments. And so when you have um, one cap that's equal to 16 washes of this wash this laundress wool and cashmere shampoo wash so two caps are 32 and i'm going to be washing 14 sweaters today but um you're going to see i think about six of them in this video there's something called pre-wash i'll also have it linked below where you rub with a little very soft bristle brush i'll have that linked below onto the collars and the wrists of your sweater so if you wear makeup or if you just sweat a lot there will be more brown or gray dirt around those parts of your sweater and so i'll have that link below you can pre-wash and scrub those parts of your sweaters i personally don't but you can scrub them and let it sit for like about 10 minutes and then i fully submerge the cashmere into the water and you will see it it will take a while for the water to absorb because it's not as a thirsty fi fiber as say polyester it'll take a bit to massage the cashmere so it'll take a lot of handwork and be sure not to stretch the material don't wring you'll want to press the cashmere against your own hands or against itself and you'll want to let it sit for no more than 30 minutes three zero minutes you're gonna see the water turn brown and gray with murkiness of the dirt. So if it smells, what you wanna do is add a little tablespoon of vinegar and the smell will go away. Now you're gonna drain the sink and you're gonna wanna press the water out. Again, don't wring and it's gonna take quite a while. Now that you have squeezed all your sweaters or your one sweater, you're going to find it to be still quite damp. So create some space that is allowed to ha have a little bit of dampness and lay out a towel and then roll like this and press it down. I'm going to roll the towel to dry layer by layer slowly and press down on each little layer and increment that I do on this cashmere garment until I can get as much water possible out of it and then lay it out to dry for a few hours. I like to do it overnight. A lot of it is really really dry by the time that you squeeze it out on the towel if you uh, do a good job. As you press dry your cashmere you can also reshape it to be the way that you want. Lay it out flat and and that it's not by a heater. Do not hang it. Do not put it on a hanger. You can have a dry rack but lay it on top of the dry rack and don't have it by a heater because it will shrink your item. So be sure to spread it and lay it out on a flat surface the way that it should be worn or the way that you want it to be. This is the next morning and my sweaters are completely dry. I hope this helps. Here's some footage of me wearing it and give this a like so more people can find this and properly take care of their cashmere. Subscribe and click the bell for more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.